Good hello, and welcome to another episode of your favorite series, Everything is Stupid. I'm Andrew, the top senior political analyst on YouTube, and this is Joe Biden, the current resident of the United States and reigning king of stupid. On October 3rd, 2022, Biden visited Puerto Rico for a photo op after the island got hit pretty hard by Hurricane Fiona. Well, my name's Joe Biden, and I don't want the headline to read, Biden brings storm to Puerto Rico. <laughs> so I don't, I'm going to maybe have to cut this a little short. At the time of his arrival, dozens of people had died, and at least 100,000 were without power. So, of course, Biden started his remarks with a joke. Let me start off by saying that Jill and I, uh, and thank you very much for that lovely introduction, Jill and I are, uh, are uh, we're anxious to be here. They're anxious to be there. Got it. I come from a little state, the little state of Delaware. It's not like the congresswoman from New York. She comes from a big state. Well, technically he's not wrong, but what the f does that have to do with anything? But we have a very, in relative terms, large Puerto Rican population in Delaware, relative to our population. And they were affected by the hurricane too? I'm confused why you're bringing this up, Joe. We have the eighth largest black population in the country and between all minorities, we have 20% of our state is minority. According to the US Census, the Hispanic population makes up 10.1% of the state and the black population is 23.6%, which is 33.7%, not 20%, but whatever. Now, so far in his remarks, he's told a dumb joke, mentioned that Delaware is a little state and that New York is a big state, and talked about race demographics in a state that was not affected by the hurricane. Not to mention that he's referred to himself at least five times in the span of 53 seconds. And so I, uh, I uh, was sort of raised uh, in the Puerto Rican community at home politically. Ah, yes, the world famous Puerto Rican community of Claymont, Delaware. <laughs> Let's explore this, shall we? Unfortunately, detailed race demographics in Delaware don't exist during the time of Joe Biden's childhood, but we do know that in 1970, the entire population of Delaware was 548,000. And in the entire state, there were 2,154 persons of Puerto Rican birth or parentage. That is 0.39% of the population. But, you know, let's give Joe Biden the benefit of the doubt and assume that he meant to say the Hispanic community. Well, according to the 1970 census, in the entire state, there were only 8,477 persons of Hispanic origin, so that's not it either. In other words, while there may be a larger Hispanic population in Delaware now, 50, 60, 70 years ago, it was practically non-existent. But whatever, Joe Biden's in Puerto Rico, so he has to pretend that he has a deep connection with the Puerto Rican people or something. And so we, and we came here for a long time, uh, both for business and pleasure, since you're part of the Third Circuit Court of Appeals. <laughs> no, it's not. Puerto Rico is part of the First Circuit, not the Third. When I was chairman of the Judiciary Committee, I spent a lot of time in the northern part of the state. So Joe Biden thinks that Puerto Rico is a state. I know you're shocked. And despite his deep connection to the Puerto Rican people, he can't pronounce basic Puerto Rican names. We've announced $163 million, million dollars to begin construction on the canal to restore. Can I help me with the pronunciation? Martin Peña. Martin Peña. Martin Peña. Uh, the, that entire ecosystem. He needed help saying Martin Peña. Nope, nothing to see here, folks. Next, two days later, while assessing hurricane damage in Florida, Biden told Floridians that he knows what they're going through. So I know from experience. How much, how much anxiety and fear and concern there are in the people. We didn't lose our whole home, but lightning struck and we lost an awful lot of it. Eh, uh, no he didn't. According to reporting by the Associated Press, back in 2004, lightning struck the home of Senator Joseph Biden, starting a small fire that was contained to the kitchen. Firefighters arrived to find heavy smoke coming from the house, but were able to keep the flames from spreading beyond the kitchen said Cranston Heights Fire Company Chief George Lamborn. Luckily, we got it pretty early, the chief said. 
the fire was under control in 20 minutes. In other words, Joe Biden is comparing a small kitchen fire to the massive damage caused by a Category 5 hurricane. 81 million votes, guys. 81 million votes. So obviously, Joe Biden will pander to anyone about anything. Take, for example, Biden's remarks at a reception celebrating the Jewish New Year. That's the tradition I got raised. I spent a lot of time, I'm practicing Catholic, but I, I, I'd go to services on Saturday and on Sunday. <laughs> you all think I'm kidding, I'm not. I probably uh, went to shul more than many of you did. <laughs> You all think I'm kidding. He can tell you I'm not. I'm not. So Joe Biden, practicing Catholic, is more Jewish than the Jews. Oy vey. Then, when Joe Biden was in Idaho, being briefed about wildfires, he claimed that he almost moved there. I got a, I, my first job offer where I wanted, my wife, deceased wife and I, wanted to move to Idaho because we think, not a joke. It's such a beautiful, beautiful state. And I interviewed for a job with Boise Cascade. And in the meantime, there was a war going on. Anyway. So let me get this straight. He and his wife wanted to move to Idaho. So he interviewed there for a job and was offered a job and he didn't take it and he didn't move there. Great story, Joe. I was appointed to the Academy in 1965 by a senator who I was running against in 1972. Yeah, this is likely bullshit. Stephen Nelson at the New York Post wrote that the year Biden cited is the same year he graduated from the University of Delaware and that the Academy doesn't offer graduate degrees. And in a follow-up article, Nelson wrote that the Delaware Historical Association in Wilmington was unable to find any record of the late Senator Boggs appointing Biden to the Naval Academy. In other words, it can't be proven nor disproven. I didn't come to the Academy because I wanted to be a football star, so I went to Delaware. But like his Idaho story, Biden claims that he applied for the Naval Academy, but then didn't go. Again, great story, Joe. I did not walk in the shoes of generations of students who walked these grounds, but I walked other grounds because I'm so damn old, I was there as well. As if we needed to be reminded that Joe Biden is old as fuck. Hey, you think I'm kidding, man. <laughs> Seems like yesterday, the first time I got arrested, anyway. So Biden has made claims about being arrested in the past, you know, to somehow align himself with civil rights heroes. And this claim has been thoroughly debunked. And this was so untrue that even the Washington Post fact checker couldn't ignore it, saying, there is no evidence we can find that Biden was ever arrested and gave Biden the four Pinocchios rating. And Joe Biden has been lying for decades. Let's go back to 1987 during his first presidential campaign. When I was 17 years old, like many of you, I participated in sit-ins to desegregate the restaurants and movie houses of Wilmington, Delaware. I came out of the civil rights movement. I was one of those guys that sat in and marched and all that stuff. When I marched in the Civil Rights Movement, I did not march with a 12-point program. I marched with tens of thousands of others to change attitudes, and we changed attitudes. However, none of it was true. Not a single word of it. In a 2019 New York Times article about Joe Biden's 1988 run for the presidency, more than once, advisors had gently reminded Mr. Biden that he had not actually marched during the Civil Rights Movement. And more than once, Mr. Biden assured them he understood and kept telling the story anyway. And in the end, his lies caught up with him and Joe Biden was forced to address it. During the 60s, I was, in fact, very concerned about the civil rights movement. I was not an activist. I worked at an all-black swimming pool in the east side of Wilmington, Delaware. I was involved. I was involved in what, what they were thinking, what they were feeling. I was involved, but I was not out marching. I was not down in Selma. I was not anywhere else. And it wasn't just about his non-existent civil rights record. He also had plagiarized speeches and then lied about his academic record. So a week after admitting that he lied about his civil rights experiences, Joe Biden was forced to withdraw 
from the 1988 campaign. And consider that in his 2007 book, Promises to Keep, there is only one mention of Joe Biden regarding participating in the civil rights movement. Reporters were asking if I'd really been part of a group who objected to the treatment of a black high school teammate who could not get served in a Wilmington restaurant, and if I'd really supported an effort to desegregate a downtown movie theater. In other words, the only mention in the book of Joe Biden's participation in civil rights as a young man is when reporters questioned whether he was lying about it. And for the record, there is no mention of Biden going to shul, let alone the appearance of the word synagogue in the book, nor is there any mention of the Puerto Rican community, how he applied to the Naval Academy, or how he almost moved to Idaho. Probably because none of these things actually happened. So while there are no first-hand accounts in the book of Joe Biden marching or desegregating restaurants, he does talk about his adventures at the black swimming pool he worked at as a lifeguard. The younger children like to splash water on my legs, then sit and watch my hair curl as it dried in the sun. And let's not forget the tale of Corn Pop, a member of a gang known as the Romans. Biden kicked Corn Pop out of the pool for horseplay, and then Biden claims that Corn Pop waited for him outside of the fence with a razor blade. You might cut me, Corn Pop, but I'm going to wrap this chain around your head before you do. So in his book, Biden went into great detail about threatening to beat a black man to death with a chain, but said nothing of his oh-so-important civil rights work. And again, he didn't write about it because it never happened. Although I do have to question whether or not Corn Pop was real. But then, during his 2020 campaign, Joe Biden bizarrely started to make the same claims that he himself stated were not true. You know, when I was a teenager in Delaware, for real, I got involved in the civil rights movement. We have the eighth largest black population in America. Most people don't know that. But I got my education, Reverend Doc, in the black church. Not a joke. Because when we used to get organized on Sundays to go out and desegregate movie theaters and things like that, we'd do it through the black church. We'd meet in order to organize and figure where we were going to go, whether we we're going to desegregate the Rialto movie theater or what we were going to do. I got my education for real, in the black church. And that's not hyperbole, it's a fact. No, it's a lie. Biden is lying to score points with the black community. But instead of Democrat African American voters being insulted and calling him out on it, they're like, eh, whatever. So in the meantime, Joe Biden will keep telling these lies and Democrats will give him a pass and look the other way. I got very engaged in my case, the civil rights movement. And uh, as a kid, I was uh, I worked a lot in, in the movement and worked and I got deeply involved. So here's a question for all of you Democrats. If Biden was a Republican, would you put up with Joe riding on the coattails of actual civil rights heroes and his continued false claims that he personally attended marches and sit-ins? Yeah, I didn't think so. Anyway, that's it for now. Follow me on Twitter at Don't Walk Run, and be sure that you're still subscribed to the channel. A special thanks to Poofy for her help with this week's script. And as always, I hope to see you next time. If there is next time.